Right, so this is going to be the first part to the building an app series and what I'm going to go through is the design, things to consider and also provisional and distribution profiles. So we'll come to the profiles at the end but here as you can see I'm using Illustrator. You can use Photoshop, Fireworks, whatever you want. I, I just find Illustrator easier. So yeah, so what I tend to do is when I'm starting I'll have this template document that I've made and it just has the sizes for each of the iOS devices, well I, iPhone, iPod devices. I've got one for iPad but for this app that I'm making it I'm just going to stick to iPhone. But I will be doing non-retina, retina and iPhone 5. So this app that we're going to go through building is going to work on all these devices not just work on them but fit the screen so the iPhone 5 what happens is if you have a um, uh, retina or non retina iPhone app it will work on the iPhone 5 but you'll have a black bar at the top and the bottom of the app it's only small but you know but what we're going to do is we're going to make it actually the, the correct sizes so what I've got I've got two files I've got this one and then I've got another one which is the different sizes of icons that are required all over the place but first what I'll do is I'll go through the app that I'm going to do the app that we're going to build is going to be uh, it's just called the tip exchange so let's go into the icons actually so here's the little app icon and I just thought it's something where we can build this app and we can push and pull data from the server and also we can um, we can do quite a few things with it, which would be quite good. We're going to upload images to the server, crop them, and all sorts of stuff. So it's just something I think will cover everything. So we may as well go through these icons now I'm on the screen. I think, because I don't... At the minute, I don't think I'm going to be submitting this to the iOS store at the end. I, I possibly will, but I don't know at the minute. But I have this document, and it has all the different sizes that you'll need. But what we're going to need for the first part is the this one here, 57 by 57. It's the app icon. And then this is the retina version of the icon. But I'm actually going to say 114. But yeah, but we don't need to worry about this just yet. So anyway, let's go into this. And let's go through the screens. So the first screen we've got splash screen this is the screen that when the app is first loaded that you see come up for like two seconds or something but yes yeah, so that's that so there's, no, there's no need to explain anything it's just a simple screen I'll just quickly I'll go into this one yeah I'll just zoom into that so get a good view of it alright so then we have the home screen and what we're going to do with this app, we're not going to have a tab. No, um, a lot of apps you have tabs at the bottom. We're not going to have any um, tabs in this app. We're going to just be loading these other windows with um, just with Common JS, and we're not going to have any nav groups either. Because really, they they don't go that deep. It's going to be click latest to see the latest screen. From the latest screen, you can click one of the tips and see a tip screen, and then go back. So we don't really need, we could probably use a, a nav group, but I'm not going to. So, yeah. So, um, we've got this header part here, which just says tip exchange. Then these would be the buttons. Let's get the arrow. Yeah, these would be the buttons. So, latest, add, my tips, help. So, these are all the screens we're going to have. So, yeah, this is the home screen. So then, so if you click latest, we'll go to this. And this would be the latest tips that have been uploaded to the server. So at the minute I've just done the same sock puppet twice, but these would be different ones. And I think we'll show maybe five at a time. And possibly, when you scroll to the bottom, maybe load another five. I don't know yet. But I think that would be good actually if we do that. So from here, you see it's got view tip. If you click that, then it will go to this screen. And all I've put at the minute is the image, but we'll have, um, well the title is now at this, this area, and then we will have the actual tip here. So, 
I think these tips for, for this purpose they're just going to be like a, a short paragraph so yeah so that will go there I haven't put it there because you know it's just text really it's nothing special so then we've got the add the add screen is completely blank at the minute it just says add, add tip at the top this is because um, I'm not 100% about how I'm going to do this at the minute. I think I'm going to do it where you upload the image first, then click the next button, then add text for that tip. I don't know, but we'll go through it anyway. But yeah, so we've got that. And then what else is there? My tips. My tips will just be like this latest tip screen, but it will be the tips that you have uploaded. So I haven't designed that because it's going to be pretty much the same, but say my tips. Help is just a help screen. It's just going to have some simple help tips. Um, a lot of the time when I do a help screen, I normally load it in a web view. I mean, I don't use web views that much, but it's, but it's lazy, I know. But I, I normally just use a web view and pull in some content. But I think what we'll do is we'll just add, add some text here. Just some simple text. Maybe some links to Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Email link. Yeah, maybe an email link, Twitter, Facebook, and some text. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how long it goes on for. But yes, yeah, so the home screen. So this is it really. So when we come back in the next video, what I'll do is I'll um, I'll have cut all of these up and I'll actually have the bare bones of the app in Titanium or App Accelerator, and then I'll go through the um, I'll go through what I've done. But it will just be literally the bare bones where we'll we'll have the splash screen home screen you'll be able to click latest and it will just go to that blank page it won't have this on i don't think and i'll just go through i've coded it but yeah so i think that's a decent start but what i'll do actually before i go is the um what you call it provisional and distribution profiles so let's have a look at that so this is a blog post i wrote i don't even know it must be nearly two years ago a year ago I updated it a little bit but it still all applies so basically what you need to do is you need to to develop for iOS you need to create an Apple developer account which is at this link here I'll put a link to this blog post anyway so you need to go there make an account it's about 60 pounds a year if you're in the UK things like 99 dollars in the US so you need to create, download and install the certificate. Then you've got to add your device to your account. So to do that you need to open it in iTunes and then you need to get the device ID. It's like this really long string of numbers. I can't remember how many numbers, like 30 or something. Um, you need to create a new app in Titanium. And the app ID you give it, you need to match that in your developer account in iTunes. Then you need to create, download and install the provisional profile and then install it on your device. And then once you've done all that, make sure that you have um, synced apps in iTunes turned on. So once you've got that, then you'll be able to push your app to your phone for testing. The distribution profile is for when you want to submit it to, to Apple you need to, <coughs> it's done in the same way as a provisional, you need to create a certificate and then um, a profile. Then you need to go to this link here. I'm not even going to click it because I'm not logged in. But you go to that link and then you need to prepare the app for submission. Once you've done that and added the icons for it, there's quite a few different ones. I've got 512 by 512 here but I think now it's like, 10 it might be 1024 by 1024 it might even be bigger now but yeah there's a few few required images you need but once you've done that then you can um, go into titanium click distribute to app store and then all being well it will open xcode and you'll be able to to upload the ipa file when you submit the app to itunes it i think at the minute it takes about two weeks from to get back with a yes or no I mean they're quite good and they'll, they'll help you out if there is a problem but yeah it should be alright but yeah so what I'm going to do is I think I'll leave it there and 
when I come when I come back in the next part, I'll have, I'll have the bare bones of the app sorted, and then I'll go through the code and reasons for bits and bobs and that. So, so yeah, right. I think it'll be about a week or so.